Welcome never betters to my YouTube channel. I am Susan and this is Buddy Sherman. We are so glad you're here. So today I've got a 45 minute power vinyasa fly flow practice prepared for you all about movement and message. In the flow, we're gonna open up our hamstrings with different variations of pyramid pose. And the message is about the third limb of yoga, asana. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push that bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after that best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. And if you are someone who follows me on Spotify at Never Better Yoga, you're going to go ahead and push that button right now and we push it all together. Then come with me and we're going to start right in a forward fold at the top of your mat. So let your feet be a little further than your hips. Pick your toes up, lift them, spread them wide, pick your heels up, slide them back. Now soften the knees, bend at the waist, cascade on down into a fold and collect one hand on each bicep and just hang in ragdoll. Now keep the knees bent. Keep allowing maybe with a little bit of a movement kind of inching the ribs on down your thighs. And then with your eyes closed, just very gently move your head back and forth to let any kind of angst, let it spill right on out of your head onto your mat. So anything in between your ears that could hinder your practice today, just clear that path. And then draw a yes back in, knowing that there is no coincidence that you are here today. And then ignite a little sway in your rag doll, letting the knees bend, kind of shifting your body weight side to side, just weaving in and out. And then shaking your head again, just clearing the path of energy, hands on your shins, pump your heart up, breathe in, halfway lift, exhale, breathe out, pull yourself together, do that again, pump the heart up, push the shins back, tabletop style. Exhale, fold back down one more time, pump the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, fold back down, finger pads down, heels in, toes out. Come right into Malasana. Yes, right at the top of your mat. So today, in exploring the eight limbs of yoga, the Yoga Sutras written by Patanjali, they are truly a pathway to enlightenment. Today, the third limb is asana. So asana can be translated into pose or posture. Reach your arms forward. Reach your fingertips. Bow your head down. Kick your heels out and then bend the knees as you levitate your arms forward past the baby asana. So asana translated as pose or posture and also known as a comfortable, steady seat. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Keep your legs wide. Do a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, pull yourself together, breathe out. Now, heel toe your feet all the way together and then rise up, Urdhva Hastasana. Stretch your arms out and up. Exhale, collect your hands at heart center and just pause. So as we explore this limb, the third limb of yoga, the asana today, 
It was originally designed to prepare us for meditation, seated meditation. So today we're going to move in and out through poses, finding balance in those poses between strength, stability, and comfort. So close your eyes and let your chin come to your chest if you have a purpose, maybe dedicating your practice to a higher level than yourself, your faith, your divine spark. Set that purpose and then offer it up as you breathe in. Take the right hand on the left wrist and side bend. Nice length on the left rib cage. Inhale back up and left hand, right wrist, lean up and over to the left. Now tee your arms and elevate your heart like goal posts. And then clasp your hands behind your back. Slide them down the back side. Stand up super tall. Bend your elbows, right ear to your shoulder. Stretch out the neck. Now chin to chest. Get the back side of the neck. And then left ear to left shoulder, drawing your right shoulder blade down the right side so you can get a longer line of energy in the stretch. And then breathe in, come right to Utkatasana, Thunderbolt, that strong, strengthening pose, drawing your shins back, igniting your core, lightening up your toes. Exhale, dive over your legs and fold. Inhale and lengthen. On the exhale, step your body in to Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now in your down dog, you're gonna pedal through your feet a little bit, shifting your heels back behind your second and third toe, and just allowing the back side of your body to open up. So it's really interesting in the eight limbs, the third limb, that we're exploring today, asana or postures, is the only limb that is physical. And I don't know about you, but the physicality is what drew me into yoga, the practice, the poses. And once you get drawn in, like many people, many yogis, you found out that the real yoga has the ability to transform not just your body physically, but your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Woo! Peel the heels up, shift into high plank. Exhale, take your body up and back, down dog. Do it again, peel the heels up, shift high plank pose. Exhale, up and back, down dog. One more time, peel the heels up, pull the belly in, roll into high plank as you uncoil your body, drop your knees to your mat, point your toes, round the back, tuck your chin cat, inhale, arch the back for cow. Now do that again, exhale, round and hollow, inhale, soften and melt, exhale, push the earth away. Inhale, soften and melt. Now drop your forearms down. You're still on your knees and your shins. And now keep the forearms down. Find a cat with forearms down. Round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round and hollow. Looking for balance in your poses. Not forcing anything, not trying hard, but trying easy. So just with that knowingness that as we drop our ego in our yoga practice, we find more fluidity, more ease. Stirasuka, they call it, which is strong, steady, stable, and yet comfortable happy 
and relaxed. Now, tuck your toes under, keep your forearms down, pop your hips up, come right into dolphin pose. Even walk your feet in just a little bit. Now on the inhale, peel the heels up. On the exhale, lower the heels down. Do it again. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, lower the heels down. One more time. Use your breath on the inhalation, lift. On the exhalation, lower and empty. Pop your elbows up and peel the heels up off your mat again. Now bend your knees and you're going to step many steps, hop, float, or fly your feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and bow over your legs. Now rise up, stretch and sweep your arms out and up. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Move your breath, move your body. It helps still your mind up and over to the left. Inhale, tee the arms, open the heart. Exhale, bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen. This time, step back to a high plank pose. Stretch your body back, round the shoulders, finding that protraction. And then either knees come down or lower all the way from plank right onto your belly. Once you land on your belly, slide your hands alongside your body. Thumbs out, palms down, feet down, chin down. Push your hands and your feet into the earth. Rise your heart up. Exhale, lower back down. Do that one more time. Inhale, push down with the hands. Push down with the feet. Rise the heart up. Look for that balance in your poses. Balancing strength and flexibility. Rise up now. Shalambhasana, flare your hands. Let your toes flare out. Lengthen your neck, soften your face, and fly. Release your hands right by your ribs. Tuck your toes under. Draw up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Now walk your feet in just a little bit. Pop your heels up on the in breath, on the out breath. Bend your knees. Step, walk, float, fly. Feet to your hands. Find that ease. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, dive, bend, and fold. Rise up, stand tall. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Inhale, back up, build that heat. Left hand, right wrist, side bend. Inhale, tee the arms, elevate the heart. Exhale, dive over your legs and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back, moving through vinyasa. If you want to float back, float back to that low push-up chaturanga. If you want to step back, you can step back to high plank. You could always take that whole flow out. Find ways on any given day to let the postures serve you. So walk your feet in a little bit. Peel your heels up. Breathe in. Surya Namaskara A. Exhale. Breathe out. Bend your knees. Hop, float, fly. Feet to your hands. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Dive and fold. Rise up. Urdhva Hastasana. Breathe in. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Breathe out. Inhale, back up, left hand, right wrist, lean left. Come back to the center. Tee your arms as your heart expands, your gaze lifts. Exhale, dive over your legs. Hinge, bend, and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Move it on through vinyasa. Offering your heart up with pointed toes either up dog or maybe cobra, meeting back in down dog. Breathe in as you lift your heels. Breathe out as you lower the heels down and empty your breath. Do it again. Breathe in, peel the heels up, 
clear the energy out. Exhale, lower your heels back down. One more time. Inhale, this time an audible sigh out, a TGIF, breathe in. Exhale, <sighs> breathe out, beautiful. Now another round all together, peel the heels up. We are better together, exhale. Bend your knees, step, hop, flop, flow to your hands, feet to hands. Say that five times fast. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow down and fold. Rise up, steady, stable. Right hand, left wrist, sides bend. Collect your composure, reach back up. Left hand, right wrist, lean left. Balance that strengthens flexibility. Open the heart. Explore that divine spark in your asana, in your postures. Fold on down. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step, float, or take it right on out, meeting back in down dog. Hold up in your down dog. Let the right leg lift up. Roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Right inner knee, outer upper arm. Inhale, stretch it back long. Right knee, left tricep, hug it across your body, work the oblique. Inhale, stretch it straight back. Right knee right up the center line with baby pulses, activate that core. Step the right leg up into a low lunge. Now, you might want to have your hands on blocks. It's always a possibility. They help elevate the floor or just keep your finger pads down. But round your back, tuck your chin in the lunge. Inhale, drag your heart through the gateway of your arms. Yes. Now, exhale, pull back. Round the back, tuck the chin like a cat in your lunge. Inhale, slip the heart through the gateway. Stretch out that left hip flexor. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, offer the heart up. This time, exhale, dive back, pyramid pose. You might have to adjust a little bit. You might want the blocks a little higher if they're using them. The front knee could be bent. The back heel could be lifted. Inhale, pump the heart up. Exhale, dive with ease over that right front leg as you plug into that femur bone. Pyramid pose. Do it one more time. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, dive back down. Now from here, float up to an L-shaped pose. Let the left inner thigh lift. Exhale, left knee to right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, left knee, right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. Last time, exhale, left knee, right calf. Set the left foot down behind the right. Just offer your arms up. You're balancing on a little tightrope. Now draw the left knee in and stand into crane. Stand at the top of your mat. Left leg lifts. Left leg over the right, standing pigeon. Pull the right hip back, open the left hip through the hip joint. Now sit it into Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, dive and fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Move it on through. Vinyasa. Inhale the heart up. The asana, the posture, the poses are probably what brought you into yoga. Ah, the physicality of the practice. As you move and connect with your breath, what you find is that it clears any kind of static in the attic, any kind of angst in the head or the mind. It just starts to dissipate as you focus on the postures. Lift the left leg up. Roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes in three-legged dog. Left inner knee, outer left tricep. Inhale, stretch it back long. Work the oblique, left knee, right tricep. 
Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, right up the center line with those baby pulses, really firing up your core. Breathe. Now look forward, step the left foot in between your hands. Tent your finger pads up. Inhale, heart lifts. Beautiful. Exhale, dive. Rounded back, cat. Inhale, lift the heart, open the right hip flexor. Exhale, dive into a rounded back, chin tuck. Last time, inhale, pick up the heart. This time, exhale, dive back. Now I like to pull in a little closer in my pyramid. Pull the left hip socket into the joint. Pump your heart up, breathe in. Exhale, strong, steady, stable. Stirasuka, dive over the left front leg. Now smooth out your breath, samavritti. Now take a float up, L shape, right inner thigh lifts, balancing on the left leg. Exhale, right knee, left calf, tap it. There you go, now come back up, L shape. Exhale, find that stability, right knee, left calf. Inhale, stretch it back, use your breath, use your balance, use your core. Left leg bent, right knee taps the left calf. Lower the right foot behind the left, you're on a tightrope. Just pull your arms up, knees are bent, just balance. Arms are lifted. Now, balance on the left leg, raise the right leg up. Come to crane, but collect your hands at heart center. Fire up the sole of the right foot. Breathe. Balance. That fine line of balancing your strength and your flexibility. Cross the right leg over the left. Standing pigeon. Now sit into thunderbolt, utkatasana. Feel the strength of your body. Lighten up your toes. Draw your shins back. Exhale. Bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen. On the exhale, heel toe your feet apart far enough to drop your hips and come into malasana. <laughs> yes, now drop your bottoms down, lift your legs up, come to navasana, that high boat. Maybe your legs are straight, maybe they're bent. These are the oars of your boat. Lower down to hover. Stay down, slip your hands behind your head. Right leg lifts, left leg hovers. Now make a switch. Now switch again. Now switch it out, switch it out. Breathe, breathe, fire up the inner thighs. Switch, switch, switch. Keep going, use your breath, use your core. You're in the asana, not trying hard, but trying that balance, trying easy, that comfort in between. Use the breath to find it. Now, rock and roll back and forth. Come all the way to balance on your hands. Just pop your heels up. Now, lower the heels down. Pull the toes up and balance on your heels. Nice. Now land your feet down. Pop your heels up, balancing on your hands, but your feet are still grounded. Lower your heels down. Pop your toes up. Now stay here. Bend your knees. Balance on your heels. Toes are lifted. Can you lift the right arm up? Can you lift the left arm up? Then plant the palms. Pop the heels up again. You've got it. Stay with it. Part the knees and come into Bakasana or find your way into another Malasana. Hold and balance. Breathe, hugging the edges of your feet together. Or you might choose to stay in Malasana. Matters not. But we are going to step or float your body back through the flow. Inhale, offer your heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, the real you. Not perceived, not contrived. Any given day, each posture each asana, even in down dog. If you're newer to the practice, this might be some of your first down dogs. If you've been practicing a long time, knowing that on any given day, your down dog can be different. Yes. 
Now, lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Right inner knee, right outer upper arm. Inhale, stretch it back long. Right knee left, tricep, tap it. Inhale, stretch it up. Keep the right leg going long. This time, right knee into the nose, stretch it back, hop up off the left leg. Land the left foot right back where it left. Now, do that again. Right knee to the nose like we did with a rounded back, chin tucked. Now, when you stretch the right leg back, hop off the left leg, land it back down right where it took off. Yes. One more time. Exhale, right knee to the nose, stretch the right leg back, hop off the left, land it back down where it took off. This time, knee to nose, step the right leg up, come to crescent lunge, rise up, breathe in. Now, pyramid pose, breathe out. Pull your hips back, dive over the front leg. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Float up, L shape, L shape. Balance at the top of your mat on your right leg, left leg lifted. Exhale, left knee, right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. Tap, left knee, right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. This time, exhale, left foot taps. As the foot sets, left knee, right calf, rise the arms up. Now balance in this little perch pose. Now pull the left knee in, stand into crane. Crane, balance, cross the left leg over the right. Now from standing pigeon, unravel the right leg and come in to half moon. Artichandrasana, right hand down, left arm lifts. Left arm's gonna come up and over. Bend the right leg, hold. Right arm's gonna pick up, balance. Now step back, warrior two. You've got it. Now fly it. Flip both palms, straighten the right leg, breathe in. Exhale, press back down, breathe out. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, press back down, breathe out. Last time, inhale, rise up, breathe in, look up. Exhale, press back down and hold. Steady your gaze. Root down through the outer edge of the left foot. Flip that right palm. Peaceful arc up and back. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through the flow. You could come down onto knees. You could go chin, chest, belly. You could take the flow out. Find stira sukha, a place where strength, steadiness, and stability meet that comfortable, relaxed, happy self. Whoo, TGIF, breathe in, pop your heels up. Exhale, breathe out. Ha, <sighs> nice, one more time. Inhale, pop the heels up, breathe in. Audible exhale out. Ha, <sighs> let the left leg levitate up. Roll that hip of yours open. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Stay with it. Inner knee, outer upper arm. Tap it high. Inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Work the strength of your body. Work the oblique. Inhale, stretch it back. Roll that right hip back. Keep the left leg straight. Now, Exhale, left knee to nose, rounded back, chin tucked. Inhale, push off the right leg. Maybe you catch a little hang time, but the right leg lands back down right where it took off. Yep, now exhale, left knee to nose. Keep your legs split, push off the right leg, drive the left leg to 12 o'clock, and maybe you catch a little hang time on your hands. Right leg lands back down, fine. Balance, find ease, slow it down, breathe. Exhale, left knee, last time, knee to nose. Inhale, 
stretch the left leg back, hop off balance, land back down. Now, step the left leg up this time, crescent lunge, levitate your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, dive over the left leg, pyramid pose, pull the left hip back. Inhale, pump the heart up. Exhale, dive and fold. Float up, balance on the left leg, standing L shape. Exhale, the balance, the ease, right knee, left calf. Inhale, stretch it back. If you need to pull back, pull back. If you want to kick it up, kick it up. Maybe you don't need your hands. Now, exhale, right knee, left calf. Set the right foot behind the left. Rise the arms up. Balance on this little tightrope. Steady your gaze. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Draw the right leg into crane. Stand tall. How do you find that stirasuka? Steady. Breathe. Stable. Balance. Comfort between strength and flexibility. Right leg crosses over the left, standing pigeon. Now, stretch the right leg back. Move it right into half moon. You've got this. Hold and breathe. Right arm up and overhead. Bend the left leg. Take your time. Ignite your core. Lift your left arm up and balance. Step the right leg back, Virabhadrasana two. Flip both palms, find the real you, breathe in. Not contrived, not perceived, but the real you, fly that. Second warrior, breathe in. Exhale, press back down. One more time, smooth it out, inhale, rise up, breathe in, look up. Exhale, explore that third limb the asana, the pose, the posture. Stay steady and stable. Flip that left palm, explore that divine spark arc up and back, peaceful. Pinwheel your hands down, move through the flow, your style, your way of movement, your asana, your posture. If you wanna do a little fly flow, go ahead and do so. Letting your heart lift up, it may be up dog, maybe cobra. Exhale, dive your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now pop your heels up, breathe in. Bend your knees, breathe out. Point your toes, let your knees land. Drop your hips to your heels, walk your hands up your thighs. Yeah, now upright your body at the back of the mat. Sweep the arms out and up. Lift the hips off the heels. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Inhale, back up. Left hand, right wrist, lift up and over. Inhale, back up. Tee those arms like we did standing. Elevate your heart, breathe in. This time, lace your hands behind your back. Slide them down the backside, retract your shoulders, hug your inner thighs in, lift your heart up. Exhale, drop your hips to your heels, keep your hands laced, soften your elbows, dip your head down to the earth, elevate your hips up, rabbit, lift the arms off the back body. Release hands and knees, round the back, tuck the chin. Arch the back, look up, cow. Tuck your toes under, rock your hips up and back. Find your way back to down dog. Now breathe in, peel your heels up. Breathe out, lower your heels down. Do it one more time. Breathe in, peel your heels up. Exhale, lower your heels down. Now we're going to add on a little bit. Lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Right knee, right tricep, inner knee, outer upper arm, but this time hold. 
Windshield wipe it to the left and hold. Shoot the right leg out, fall your triangle. Right hand down, left arm up and over. Open up that left side body, plug the left shoulder head in. Fall in triangle, breathe. Somebody breathe. Now, left hand down, right hand down. Shoot the right leg straight back. We've been here. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Inhale, push off, find a little lift. Do it again. Exhale, right knee in. Find a little light, lift, and fly. Do it one last time. Left leg lands back down where it took off. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, push off, lift up, land back down. This time, step up, right knee to the nose, step it up, crescent lunge. I like to stay in the middle of the mat, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, dive over the right leg, pyramid pose. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Beautiful, ease with your breath, float up. Balance in that L shape. Exhale, left knee, right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, left knee, right calf. Inhale, stretch it back. Left knee, right calf, lower the left foot down. Round your back, tuck your chin, pull your arms up, then stack your shoulders over your hips, balance. Exhale, left knee rises, hands to heart center, crane. Left leg over the right, standing pigeon. Stay low, stay balanced, stay steady. Open it up, half moon. This time in your half moon, that option to connect to a chapasana variation. Right hand down, left leg bent, left hand reaches back. Set the left inner thigh on a shelf and open up your heart. Breathe. Release the left arm and left leg. Bend the right leg a lot. Pick the right arm up. Step back. Warrior two. Flip that right palm for peace. Straighten the right leg. Reach up and back. Exhale. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through that flow, or you've always got the option to take it out. I am sneaking to see what time we've got. Okay, beautiful. Now, meet back in down dog. Our last standing series. Hold right here before we start. So we have been exploring the asanas. Whoo, the third limb of the eight limbs of yoga. The physicality of the practice. It was meant to prepare us for meditation, <clears throat> to be comfortable in the seat, be comfortable in your own skin. Some days in the asana, that means you pull back. Some days it means you kick it up, but only you know that you are the best teacher you will ever have that still small voice inside your head. Let's finish it off. Last round on the left. Left leg lifts. Roll open at the hip. Find that balance between strength and flexibility. Left inner knee, outer upper arm. Tap it and hold. Left knee, right tricep. Hold. Shoot that left foot out. Fall in triangle. Left hand down. Spin the right heel down. Right arm up and overhead. Somebody breathe. Now, right hand down, left leg shoots back. You're in three-legged down dog. Exhale the left knee into the nose. Inhale, stretch it back, hop off the right foot. Now, do that again. Exhale, draw the knee in, round the back. Grip the mat with your hands, but keep your weight back as the right leg hops up. 
Third time, a charm. Here we go. Exhale, left knee into the nose. Inhale, stretch the left leg back. Hop off the right. Maybe, maybe, maybe you catch a little hang time. Right leg lands back down. Exhale, left knee to nose. Step it up, step it up. You can always take things out. You can kick things up. You choose, you decide. Exhale, dive over the left leg. Pyramid pose, Parjvo Konasana. Inhale, pump the heart up. Exhale, fold, bow down. Float up to that L shape. Find that stirasuka, that ease. Lift the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left calf. Stay with it, steady. Stable and strong, stable and strong, that's you. Exhale, right knee, left calf. Inhale, focus, be in the now. Exhale, right knee, left calf. Lower the right foot down, round the back, tuck the chin, lighten up those fingertips. Slip the arms overhead. Somebody breathe. Let the right leg lift. Balance on the left. Come to crane. Right leg crosses over. Standing pigeon. Slow, steady, stable. How do you relax in poses that are not easy? Find that balance. Find the real you. Not the you that they think you should be, but the you that you really are, half moon. A possible Chapasana connection. Take your time. Find your place of balance. No connection, no Chapasana, no worries. Let the left leg bend as the right arm reaches. Right leg goes long. Left arm lifts up. Step back, warrior two. Flip the left palm, peaceful. This time straighten the left leg. Reach up and back, stretching the left side body out. Exhale, pinwheel your hands down. Let it go, let it flow. Move through the vinyasa flow in your style your form, your way of ease and movement. Exhale, draw up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Right knee to nose, step it up, modified revolve lunge. Right arm lifts, breathe in. Right hand down, left leg sneaks in and behind the right. Seated, twist. Lift the arm up on the left and hook it or hug it. Roll up and around. Ardha Matsi Andrasana. How do we be comfortable in the seat, in the asana, in the pose, in the posture? Finding your balance. Doesn't matter what anybody else looks like. Come back around. Step back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Our goal is to unveil our best version of ourselves with the gifts, with the talents, with the blessings we've been given. Left leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Draw the left knee to the nose. Step it up. Modified revolve lunge. Pull the left hip back. Let the rotation come through the waist. Lower the left hand down. Sneak the right leg in behind the left. Seated spinal twist. Sweep the right arm up. Breathe in. Even look up. And then twist right upper arm, balancing that strength and flexibility. Ardha Matsi Andrasana. Breathe. Now, can you sit up taller? Maybe close that gap a little. 
Soften your face. Nice. Now come around a little Janu Shirshasana, sole of the right foot to the left inner thigh. Lift your arms up. Now rotate toward the left leg and dive on down over that left leg. Inhale, rise up. Plant the right hand down. Rise on the right shin. Left arm up and over. Lengthen the left side body. Breathe. Now lower back down. So what I've found in the asanas is the most challenging thing is to cultivate patience. Sole of right foot left foot to the right inner thigh, sits bones might have to be adjusted, lift up, rotate toward the right leg, bow down and over the leg. So David Allen puts it this way. Take a nice fold. He says, patience is the calm acceptance that things can happen in a different order than the one that we have in mind. So cultivate that strength with flexibility. Left hand reaches down. Rise up. That's what the asana, the posture practice is all about. Reach the right arm up and over. The movement of your body helps slow down the chatter in our head that can create such havoc in our lives. Now come back around to a comfortable seat. Be in the comfortable seat. Be relaxed. Sukhasana, a comfortable, easy seat. If that doesn't mean crossing your legs, keep them straight. But offer the palms out and up. Breathe in gathering all of the blessings, all of the good into your heart in that Anjali Mudra, that hand gesture where you can seal your divine spark, your purpose as we dedicated our practice to our faith, to that higher vision, to that higher version of ourselves to the divine spark. Whatever that means to you, to God, whatever it is, to your faith, seal it in. Let it bring clarity. And then as you look up, let's all together finish off with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your